Hi everybody. Hi How everybody. How you doing? So we have been full time officially four months. Almost. Almost four months. So time is flying by and it's so hard to get stuff. Yeah, it's been crazy. So we have lots of footage, but getting it edited and onto YouTube has been a challenge. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. So just to hold you guys over, we have a little a short video of our shakedown trip with Larry and Nolan. Yep. We went to Armand Beach on the near Daytona. That but it was so neat to get Larry to see the first time he'd ever been in the ocean. So, you know. Yeah, so. We, we had fun, too. We, we had fun. And we're new at the GoPro, so we lost all the footage from the shakedown trip with my brother. Yeah. But so, it was but it's fun, fine. Though. It was, so, we will see you guys in a few and more weeks few with more another weeks, video. Another video. Yeah, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all of our new content. And we will see you and you and you soon. Bye. Dolphin on the Halifax, which is this is called Dine and Cruise. It's in Daytona. Um, you get a ticket and you pick out a meal. They have like six different options. I'll show you guys that. And you get to eat on the boat and ride the Halifax. And hopefully we'll get to see some dolphins if we're lucky. So you get unlimited soft drinks, and it starts as soon as you get here. So Bryce already filled up a soft drink. He went to the shop today, and he got a new shark tooth necklace because his last one broke. Yeah. Let's go show him the boat. Bryce, can you lead the way? Um, the poor fee has changed. It's five dollars now, and tip is eighteen percent. So it came out to about thirty, almost thirty-nine dollars for adults. Can you say hi to the camera? Bye. Bye. Good boy. Hey, little man. Bye. 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 First off, they're boarding tickets. You have to have one of these tickets to get on the boat. Second, they are also raffle tickets. Yes, how exciting. They are be several drawings throughout the cruise and you could win valuable prizes with these tickets. And last go off, if you fall overboard and you still have your ticket, we'll let you back on the boat for free.
Once we made it to Daytona, we stayed at Coral Sands RV Resort in Daytona Beach, Florida. Beautiful views. Absolutely beautiful. There wasn't really a bad spot in the campground. It was very small. Only just a handful of spots. But even the ones that weren't oceanfront, you were just a few steps away right to the ocean. However, we do not recommend this place. Besides the fact that it is really overpriced for an RV resort, mind you, you are paying for that oceanfront. There's not very many amenities and the staff is not very friendly. So while we were here, they decided to redo the bathrooms. I guess that had been a planned thing, but we were not informed when we checked in or when we made the reservation. What you see here now is these little pop-up bathhouses they sent for us, but they didn't install any drainage in them. So once a few people started taking a shower, the tanks were full and everyone's shower water started backing up. And it was pretty gross. It eventually got to the point it was running out the door. It was disgusting. You couldn't use them. You couldn't even use them to go and use the bathroom because the whole floor was just flooded. Now, yes, we do have a bathhouse, well, a bathroom in our RV, but the water heater is extremely small. You get about five minutes of hot water, and with as many people as we had, it would have took all day to get everyone through showers. So we try not to use it if we don't have to. So the way this resort is set up is you have the campground, you have the hotel in the middle, and then you have cottages on the end. Or, I'm sorry, I got that backwards. The cottages are in the middle and then the hotel. The staff, however, their priority are those hotel guests. They work in the hotel. They're the ones that pay the most. They stay the longest. So no one else really gets a lot of attention from them. Um, that being said... When we arrived, we had already paid for our stay up front to be able to hold our spot. We came in and my husband went up to the desk and was informed that it was going to be even more. When he asked why, she said because it was bike weekend and they always raise the price. Even though we had already paid, she wanted us to pay more. When he said that he did not think he had to pay any more since that's not what we were quoted online and he had a receipt, she told him he could pay more or he could go somewhere else. So we paid it because we had nowhere else to go, and we this was our shakedown trip, so we were still pretty new to the whole RV thing. And even though we're familiar with the Daytona area, we're not familiar with the campgrounds of Daytona. Here we have the laundry room. The laundry room is the only common area that is not air-conditioned. And in Florida, in the summer, it is unbearable to stay in here and do laundry. The laundry is also set up by these machines, and you pay everything by credit through your phone, and they do not work most of the time. So, on top of the other issue of payment and the bathhouses, I sat down here for almost two hours with Caspian in the heat waiting for maintenance to come down because it locked up with my clothes in it. They said it was a constant issue. Now, they do have a bathroom back here, too, which was the only working bathhouse that wasn't like the little portable ones. But like I said, no AC. It was just you couldn't stand to stay in there. It was impossible. If you'd shut that door, you would have suffocated. They also weren't very clean. They were pretty gross. So we did go over all the issues we had and the manager did come down and apologize and speak with us and offered us a f our last night for free and offered for us to use one of the cottages to be able to go in and shower, which was very kind of her and we appreciated that, but it still wasn't worth it for the fact that we were there for several days and we only had really that one night to be able to shower and things. It wasn't worth the money. We definitely won't. Oh yeah, hey. Where are we at? Over there. <laughs> yeah, we lost Bryce and Nolan, didn't we, Bobby? Overall, everyone had a really great time. I did end up losing some footage from the baseball diamond, which I was so upset about because it was really cool. But make sure to check out our Facebook page because we have all those photos there. This was an awesome shakedown trip and we got to spend it with family. We had one other one that we took with my brother's family, but I'm still learning how to do all this editing thing. And my GoPro was still pretty new at the time and it was not getting along with my memory cards. So we didn't get any footage from that trip. Don't forget to like and subscribe as our videos get better. We bring you amazing content about traveling full time with our family and traveling the U.S.